The Razer Sinosa Chroma Pro is Razer's current membrane gaming keyboard offering with Razer Chroma RGB lighting and the RGB underglow. But is it actually any good for gaming? I'm KevinD77 and today I'm going to bring you another consumer level review of this keyboard because I'm a user just like you guys. I'll give you some pros and cons and my opinion. Let's do it. So following from the Ornata with the Mecha Membrane keys, Razer released the Sinosa and the Sinosa Pro, which just come with normal membrane keys, no clicks. The only real difference is the Pro has the RGB underglow, which is the one I've got for today's video. The keycaps themselves are full height keycaps, unlike the Ornata which had half height. So for typing especially, this feels more like the Black Widow with the mechanical keys, just purely because of the height of the keys. The feel of them themselves is completely different with them being rubber domes. Going through the features this keyboard has, it's got membrane keys, RGB lighting, and that's about it really. But no, in seriousness, it does have Razer's Chroma RGB lighting with a beautiful underglow. It's got a good lengthy cable on it and it has got these adjustable legs underneath as well to change the height. But moving on to the features we're missing, obviously no dedicated media keys. You don't get a wrist rest because that would impede the underglow at the front and make it completely pointless. There's no USB pass through, which some like, some hate. I'm not bothered either way really with that because I plug everything into my PC anyway, or a hub if I run out of USBs. So generally, there isn't much in the box. When I opened it, I was a little bit disappointed to start with. But I thought, you know, I'll give it a chance, you know, give it a go, see what happens. The star of the show with this keyboard is obviously the Razer Chroma RGB lighting. That is brilliant. It's always brilliant on all the Razer's keyboards. So it has the individually programmable keys. It has the underglow, which looks brilliant in a dark room or a studio. It also has a number of presets you can run through in the Synapse 3.0 software. I'll just demonstrate to you now the ones that really stood out to me. First up, we have Breathing, which alternates smoothly between up to two colors, followed by Fire. Have a guess what that one does. Reactive illuminates the keys as you press them. You can select what color they light up and also how fast they fade back out again. Ripple's a pretty cool one, especially if you're typing. Every key press creates a ripple of light. Again, you can select what color that is. We have Wave, which creates a full colors of the rainbow going across your keyboard. You can select which direction that travels. And then we have Wheel, which similarly, rainbow colors, but they spin around in a circular motion. Ambient Awareness is pretty cool because that reacts to whatever is actually on your monitor. You can select which part of the monitor it reacts to. So I've selected the bottom and when I move the window around, it actually changes the lights to white. Audio Meter reacts to the sounds on your PC, especially music, as you can see. Although I found it didn't work particularly well with YouTube for some reason. Let's have a listen to the splendor of typing on rubber dome membrane keys. Just to let you know, I have done a sound comparison video between this Sinosa Chroma Pro and a modified Razer Ornata, where I removed the mecha part of the mecha membrane switches to make them quiet. You can see that just up here. But my final verdict for this keyboard, in short, is gaming, no. Typing, yes. I don't find it's any good for gaming. I find a number of problems when I'm playing, especially when I'm playing FPSs. It feels especially with WASD games, when I'm holding W to run forward for a long period of time, I don't realize that the pressure is releasing from my finger because there's a lack of feel there. So I end up stopping dead in the middle of the field or wherever, which is no good. I also find that unless I press the key bang in the middle here, it feels like it's sticking. If I press it just on the edge or miss hit or, you know, press the key at speed and I press it on the edge or the top or the bottom, it feels like it sticks. It's almost like it develops a, a tactile click, although you can't hear it. But it's really frustrating, really frustrating. 
So my recommendation would be save the extra and get yourself a mechanical keyboard. They're great for typing on, they're lovely and soft and spongy, but if you're wanting to game, just get a mechanical keyboard. It's just not cut out to be a gaming keyboard at the end of the day. Quick outro today, where I beg for subscribers and likes, so subscribe and like. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. And if you are watching in the future and I've got like two million, hi, welcome to the past. I've got other videos for you to take a look at, product reviews. I'll be doing some more gaming videos soon as well. So until then, take it easy. See you later.